Hey, what's going on everyone? Ryan again with RPKCustoms.com. Today we're going to be looking at a saber from my personal collection. Um, if you guys have been following me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you know that all the sabers, in my, most of the sabers in my collection are all static, meaning there's no electronics in them. They are just all highly accurate. So I have been looking for a kind of a one-off saber, um, something a little bit more custom. I wanted something that if I was in the Star Wars universe and I was a Jedi, what would I build for myself? This is kind of it. Um, now, the base of this hilt was built by Dylan from Dembeck Relics. He did the uh, the cut here around the waist. Uh, he also did the heat staining up by the emitter, and he did the leather wrap for me. After Dylan was done with it, I sent it over to Benji over at Nerf Herder Customs, where that's who I first heard about scrap flexes from. Um, I think it was right in the beginning of COVID. I just started watching a bunch of YouTube videos because there was nothing else to do. So I stumbled across Benji's channel and um, that's where I saw his scrap flex. Absolutely fell in love with them. Um, I messaged Benji and he told me that Dylan had a couple of 2.0 kits and that's how we kind of got the ball rolling on this. So I sent it over to Benji. Uh, he installed it with CFX for me. Um, he did a couple other small modifications too. He put the red capuchon in the glass eye for me. He also made a blade plug. And I believe he makes these out of replacement razor heads, electric razor heads, which is pretty cool. And he also made me a pommel uh, because originally this does not come with a pommel. It, it was just a kind of a flat bottom, um, whatever came stock with the Graflex 2.0 kit. This was the pommel that Benji made for me. And this is kind of a, a Ahsoka style uh, pommel. Now, just recently, uh, this had been on my, my Scrap Flex for a long time, uh, just up until a couple days ago. I replaced it with one of my V2 pommels. Just to make it a little bit more personalized for myself. And then I machined out just a single hole for sound venting. I just thought this pommel kind of matched my long lever here pretty well. Since the V2 is obviously my favorite saber, um, I had to get some V2 influences in there. Um, I also soldered the traces on the clamp card. And I added this uh, cover tech and D-ring. And that's really all I did. Um, I just added a couple small things just to personalize it for myself. So this is kind of a collaboration between uh, Dylan Dembeck, Benji from Nerf Herder Customs, and myself. Um, we all have our little influences in this thing. So, uh, like I said, this is installed with CFX, so I'll go ahead and fire it up. You can see Benji's Really cool blade plug in there. Now this font, I believe it's called The Return by Kyberphonic. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to go over this since it is one of my favorite uh, sabers in my collection. I just love the the leather wrap. And the, uh, the I call it a wasp waist. Uh, I'm not really sure what you would call this, just a, an exposed rib section. This exposed rib section here is only on these Graflex 2.0 kits. Um, the 2.5s are a little bit different. 
And I know a lot of people make star killers out of these 2.0 kits and they, they look awesome. Um, something I'm, I have not tried to build yet is a star killer. But I think that day might be coming pretty soon because I have this little guy here that I'm wanting to do something with. But I think these scrap flexes are just uh, scrap flex, scrap flexes. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know what the plural is for that. I just think these things are gorgeous. They are the exact style that I wanted for myself, um, for my collection. I don't collect a lot of sabers that are not screen accurate, that are not in the movies. So this is a, a pretty special one for me, especially since it was built by a couple of friends. So now I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, let you guys see it with a blade in. All right, what's going on, guys? So the Scrap Flex takes a 7 8 inch blade. And this one's super easy. You just undo the red button. There's the blade plug. All right. And of course, green is my favorite color, so that's like pretty much all that's on here is green. Let me turn the light off actually so you guys can see. swing this around too much because my office is super tiny but oh see I'm already hitting stuff <laughs> Do Darth Revan next. You are the one who deserves to be the Dark Lord. Now this font again is from Kyberphonic. Just a super cool hill. Super comfortable to spin around. Uh, the clamp doesn't get in the way. Your hand just kind of rests on it, right like that. I just love this hill, man. It's definitely the one I play with the most, just because it's the only installed saber I have. But. I really do love it. Classics, you know. But I appreciate you watching, guys. Um, this is just a uh, this is just a really cool saber.
show you the blade plug one more time. So cool. I love it. So I want to thank Dylan from Denbeck Relics and Benji from Nerf Herder Customs for building this for me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is going to stay in my collection for a really long time. So thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you.